Hey everyone, this is Lindsay from Lindsay Kirsch Performance and in this video I'm going to continue on with our five steps to project management and how to get things done. In this video I'm going to talk about a time tracking tool and why time tra tracking is super important to all of your projects. So getting started, I have Asana open to the project that we have been working on for the past couple of videos. We're going to focus now on estimating out our task time as well as tracking it. But first, I want to answer a few questions around why this is super important. If you don't track your time, you really have no idea how long your tasks are taking you. So if you're going to, say, create a digital course, the first time you do it, you don't really have an idea of how long it's going to take you, so you guess. But if while you're creating that first course, you track your time, then you have a baseline for the next time that you create a digital course. And that will make it easier for you to plan and make sure that you have enough time to get it done and are able to schedule that. So having a baseline for your time is really important. I track all of the time that I spend doing any type of work for my business, whether it be outlining a blog, creating a new landing page, or even creating these videos. It's just really important for future estimation. Secondly, time tracking is very important if you are billing your customers based on time. So I don't think any customer is going to appreciate if you say, well, I think I spent about two hours on that task, so I'm going to bill you for that. Knowing that you have a concrete structure in place that is tracking your time that you can run reports on is a better business option. Finally, another reason for using a time tracking tool is to keep tabs on your team, to know how long that other people are spending on tasks, what they're doing, when they're doing it, is really important too. You wanna to make sure that everyone's being honest and fair and compliant with their work. So let's get a, go ahead and get started. Today I'm gonna to show you a tool called EverHour. And EverHour is a piece of software that actually integrates with Asana really nicely. It helps you keep track of your time on your specific tasks, enter time in manually, and like I said, it integrates directly into Asana, as well as some other tools if you're interested. So I've already installed EverHour into my Asana, and it was honestly very quick and easy. They have a great tutorial on their website on how to do that. You can see my time tracker over here on my task. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and estimate the time for my, my main project tasks. Um, we did in an earlier tutorial estimate time for the subtasks, but right now I'm going to focus on the main tasks. So I'm going to click on the plus icon and add estimate. And I'm going to say that this will be four hours. And I can, when I'm doing this estimate, select different users for that. So I'm going to go ahead and put in estimates for all of my projects here or I'm sorry, all of my tasks. So our project is really shaping up nicely here. We have our project defined. We have all of our different tasks with estimates for time, who's going to be in charge of them, what the status is, what their due date is. So at this point, it is time to start working on our project. So when I'm ready to start working on a task and track the time, all I do is press timer. And then I can go about anywhere else. Um, I can stay at my computer. I can go in a web browser or open up any programs that I need to. And that timer will keep running. I can also go and walk away from my computer. Maybe my task requires me to be somewhere else. And it'll just keep running. So when I'm done with the task or I've completed what I'm going to complete on it for right now, I press stop. And you can see that over here 
in the task, it shows one minute of four hours. So what that means is that I have completed one minute of work out of a total estimated hour, four hours. One thing that I do really appreciate with this integration ever hour is that I can go in and manually add time. So maybe I was at an offsite meeting or sometimes I do forget to track my time. So I'm just going to go ahead and enter three, add it in today and save that. And now you can see it's been updated to three hours out of four hours. So now I'm going to show you some of the reporting functionality that is included with Ever Hour and what you're actually going to do with all this time information estimates once you have it. So the first thing that I recommend is once you have completed all your project and all your tasks, um, I recommend that you don't delete your project, that, that you keep it in your list and you archive it. And the reason being is that even once you've completed tasks, you can go back into Asana and you can view all tasks. And so if I'm ever going to do a similar project or even something that's a little bit different but has some of the same tasks, now I can go back in and I can see what were the tasks that I had to go through to complete that project and how long did it actually take me versus what I estimated. So never delete your project information, always save it and use it as a baseline for your future projects. So then um, the next thing I'm going to show you is actually in the Ever Hour interface. But you can open up the Ever Hour interface separately and then you can see a tracking of all your projects and anything that you've tracked time with in Asana. So this is the Ever Hour interface and if I scroll down you can see all of the, the time tracking that I've been doing on my projects. Additionally, there is this really great graph here. Mine does not have a lot of information because this is a demo project, but it will show me how much time I'm spending on any particular day of the week. Additionally, right in Ever Hour, I can also start and stop my timer. I don't necessarily have to be in the Asana interface. So I'm going to go ahead and search for a project. There's my launch website. It's going to sync with Asana and then I can start the timer. Okay, so I have my project and my task and I'm going to go ahead and start the timer. And so I can also track my time in Ever Hour. So that concludes my tutorial on time tracking using Asana and EverHour. Again, I just want to emphasize this is a minor detail, but it is so important for the project work that you're doing. And regardless of whether you're working independently with a team or even within a big organization, I highly recommend that you're tracking your time because it will only make things easier for you in the future. Thanks. I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll talk to you soon.